Hey everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Land Grisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I know for this video I'm probably going to get some hate and I'm probably going to get some crazy criticisms and things like that, but I want to do this video anyways. Now I am going to be making a video on the top three fusion power teams in the game, our faction buffs, whatever you guys like to call them. Um, I'm going to be making a top three. I just haven't done that yet because I have not unlocked Altamuller, Sephira's um, strategic masters fusion power buff, and I think it would be kind of uh, messed up if I try to do uh, top three and I can't even use the strategic master fusion power buffer So that's why I have not done that and also I think I'm gonna postpone it till next week because we're supposed to get a uh, Lanford and he does carry also the strategic master buff So I really want to throw that into the fray of that video and it will be a top three um, I might do top five you guys can vote down below on if you should if I should do a top three or a top five but do note guys on another side note on to that most of the time you're you're going to be carrying hybrid teams like i'm going to do these guides on these uh fusion powers faction buffs and it's going to be just the teams themselves but most of the time you might want to mix and match things throw princesses with some empire throw a uh, legion of glory with some princesses throw this and that and this and that um and you can just get really creative in this game because you're not subject to one team and don't think that one team is going to be the best team ever and if you run that team you're going to win in everything and blah 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 that's not how it works right there's a different level of strategy that take place in this game so i'm just here to kind of guide you and give you a little bit of a guideline of what to do but remember my words not set in stone everything i say is an opinion let's get into this video all right guys so we're in the freya chart here but that's because we're going to use her um, to see the princess alliance here and also because she's my favorite princess next to lana her and lana are definitely tied um now my opinion on the princess alliance is a little bit biased because this is my favorite team in the game i just feel like they bring so much to the table that you cannot underlook these ladies i mean they're just all fantastic units there's not one princess that can honestly say is trash i think they're all really good um People will argue and say Narm and Anna are not that good, and people will definitely say, I hear this a lot, that Freya is trash, but I think people are extremely wrong about that. Just give her a chance, build her up, throw some good equipment on her, and you will see this girl work for you, and it will be phenomenal. But besides that, let's go over the list here. So we got your healers. You have four healers in this category. So healer slash support, I'm putting them kind of together here. Which is going to be first on the list, obviously, you see Liana, then Tiaris, which are your SSRs. Then you got Chris, Sophia, and then you got Anna, right? So some people will say, oh yeah, Liana and Tiaris are the absolute best, they're SSRs. I can argue with you and say Chris is just as good as Liana and Tiaris. And I'm not saying that because, oh yeah, he's trying to say that SRs are better than SSRs. And no. Trust me, Liana and Tiaris, when it comes to pure heals, Liana and Tiaris are the way to go. If you if you just need somebody to heal your team, pick one of those two. You will not be disappointed by either one. Now, don't ask me which one I, I would choose because I cannot choose between them two. I think they're just both phenomenal. And in certain cases, I would actually use both of them depending on what I'm fighting, right, if I need two healers. So besides that, Chris, on the other hand, what she brings to the table is just the damage she can not only heal while she's hitting somebody, but she heals a lot. Just her whole kit in general. Sorry, Lo. I'm kind of busy. All right, so she heals a lot, and she hits freaking hard. This girl works her ass off. I'm not kidding you guys. Like, as an SR unit, it's her kit is fan-freaking-tastic, right? So she heals on her, on her uh, talent. Let's go over to Chris real quick. All right, got mine at low 50 right now. Definitely gonna increase her. Yeah, so she's gonna she's gonna cl cleanse a debuff on her talent and adds a random buff on her talent. And on top of that, if you're running her uh, passive faith, she just freaking moves and she after she does battle, she's gonna heal your team, right? And that's not including if you start to do her other moves here and stuff. So Chris is a phenomenal support. Not to mention if she hits a freaking um. If she hits a demon, if Chris hits a demon, it's GG's for that demon. I'm telling you. 
she will annihilate demons like don't don't count chris out guys she's a solid attachment like if you wanted to run a very solid uh heal slash support combo i'd say either liana and chris or tiaris and chris 100 percent. you can even go see sophia and chris too and, and if you're not blessed with any of those units go anna and chris right just run chris you're gonna see good deeps and just self-sustainability and the heels just procking out of her from every little thing she does so fantastic unit there so top top healer on the team um i don't know <laughs> if i had to say i'd say liana just because I feel like I've been using that act again so much. I mean, I've been abusing the crap out of act again. So that's probably why. But my TRs is definitely like right there too. So definitely tied at number one for healer for the Princess Alliance. TRs and Liana tied for sure. Um, and remember guys, this is all my opinion. Now let's go into tanks. Now so there's only really one true tank on the Princess Alliance. And that's going to be your girl Freya. Why do I say this? Is because she's the only unit on this team, I believe so, that can actually jump in front of shots. Right? So she just by a passive itself, you put her right next to one of your units, she's going to jump in front of that shot for your unit and tank that hit. So... There is one other tank, but sh that other tank does not jump in front of shots, and that other tank will be Angelina. Angelina is a tank. You could put her out there, and she's going to actually absorb a lot of damage. The only thing is she will not jump in front of shots. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh, don't build your Freyas and blah, 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 blah. Don't count Freya out, guys. I'm telling you, you will not regret building this girl. She is phenomenal. And if, and if you want to run a strong Princess Alliance, like pure strong Princess Alliance, go ahead and build up Freya. Now, a lot of people will argue and say, oh, well, she doesn't help in dragons. Okay, then. Don't use her in dragons. Go use somebody else, right? But go ahead and go into PvP or go into other missions and have the, the bosses come and try to attack you. And that is not going to go well for people, right? So trust me, Freya will do work as a tank in the Princess Alliance. So that vote would actually have to go to just Freya because she is the only true tank of the Princess Alliance. Um, next, we're going to say DPS. Now, DPS, you have a whole list here, right, of DPS people, which is going to be starting off the top. We got Sherry. Then we're going to have Alana. Um, then we're going to have... Liffany, Sonia, uh, you can technically consider Chris DPS too. Sonia, leave me alone. All right, Chris can technically be considered DPS too. You got Narm, and that's about it. So I'm not saying Luna or uh, Shelfinol just yet, just because um they are fusion powers, and we're going to go over them separately. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven DPS to choose from. Um basic quick choice is sherry 100 percent all the way she is the second highest attack stat in the game right under leon and she can do some serious damage and i know a lot of you people have sherry already so that makes it much easier on the choice there um for second spot i would 100 percent give that to lana i feel like lana is amazing on the princess alliance team just the level of aoe damage and single target damage that this girl can do is is just crazy powerful i mean crazy powerful don't get me wrong sherry's good but the thing is sherry has to get in the fight and if she gets in the fight and you're not smart about your tactics she can get killed quite fast but lana on the other hand it's going to be very hard for you to get to her just because she's going to have a tank right next to her which is freya She's going to have a DPS dealer out in that front line, and she's going to have a healer that's literally sitting on her back. So there is just, it, to get to Lana is just very troublesome, so very strong there. Uh, so definitely those two, 100%, if you had to cho cho choose two DPS. Um, honorable mentions, I would say, would definitely be uh, Sonya. Sonya can do crazy amounts of work and can replace your Sherry if you do not have the mobility. Also if you need a blue right so there's not really much blues here actually i don't think anybody's a blue here 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of these units can go blue. So Sonya will be your Leon for the Princess Alliance. If you do not have Leon and you like to run the Princess Alliance, build your Sonya. Trust me, I tested it. I threw all of Leon's gear on my Sonya, and she actually does a lot of freaking damage. It's incredible, right? So don't count Sonya out. You're fighting a lot of reds. Yo, throw some throw some equipments on her, and she'll be good to go. Uh, Liffany, great replacement for Lana if you do not have Lana. If you do not have Lana, easily can build Liffany because she actually does some crazy um, magic damage herself. Um, it's not going to be as strong as Lana, but it will be very close, and you will not regret building her up. If you're fighting a lot of Flyers, Narm is the way to go. Now... It's very hard to build Narm, especially if you have one other unit, and you're going to see why in a second here. But if you are fighting a lot of Flyers, Narm is definitely the way to go. She is a very strong archer, so do not count her out. Also, I think you can buy her in the shop. I think she's like 5 bucks, and then you get her. I did use her in the beginning of the game, and she actually helped me tremendously. So Narm is definitely a strong way to go there. So top two, and then you have Angelina too. Angelina is just a, a balanced character. I would say she's not really too strong. She's not too weak. She's just right in the middle. She's on cruise control. And you could just stick her in that fight and she can uh, go a long way for you too. So I would say top two if you have them would definitely be Sherry and Lana. Um, honorable mentions would definitely be Sonya. Just because I feel like Sonya is so neglected. But she's just so freaking good that do not count her out at all. Now, you are going to notice in most of my gameplays, I do not use my Sherry. I actually like to use my Angelina instead, but that's just because that's how I play. That's how I build my units and all that other stuff. And constantly, constantly using Lana. So, I don't think there's one game where I actually go without using Lana, right? So, it's very, very few times. Now, let's go over the important thing here. The fusion power. Alright, so the Princess Alliance is going to have two fusion powers, right? So you're going to have Luna and you're going to have Shelfino. Now, if you take Luna down the road that I took mine, which is the Archer Path, then you do not need to train your um, Narm. Now, if you are dealing with a ton of Flyers and Luna's just not cutting it, she's not chopping them down some, then yeah, build up your Narm and you can have two really strong Archers. But if you're going to want to save the space and rather run somebody else other than another Archer, then yes, take your uh, Luna, go towards that Archer Path, and then use somebody else. Like I said, I'd take Sonya over Narm all day just because I feel like Sonya can do a lot more work, but that's just my opinion. So the reason why I'm gonna go over Luna first and Shelfino is because I see a lot of people use Luna and a lot of people will say Luna's um, fusion power is way better than Shelfino's. I think it's all an opinion. I think they're both really good depending on the situation, right? So Luna is gonna really help you chop down enemies, right? So I'm just going to read it off here. Attack and defense increase significantly for all Princess Alliance units within range to last the entire map. After dealing damage to the enemy, it's possible to deal extra fixed damage. It's not, it says it's possible, but it's not, it's pos possible. It's going to deal extra fixed damage to the enemy. 15% of enemies remaining HP last four turns. So your typical last four turns. Now the fusion power is, is good. I, I take nothing from it. But it's good when you're chopping down enemies, right? So if you're dealing with somebody that has high HP, then yes, Luna's fusion power is the way to go. Just because that's just going to keep chopping on that 15% remaining H HP every single time um, a Princess Alliance member attacks. Now, when that unit starts getting low on HP, this buff goes down extreme. Like, if they have 100 HP left, you're only going to do, like, what, 25 damage or something? No, you're going to do, like, 15 damage, right? Something super tiny like that, right? So that's where this buff kind of sucks, right? But, like I said, if you want to just kind of chop down those units with high HP, Princess Lion's buff from uh, Luna is definitely the way to go. Now, like I said, I took her down the Archer route, but that's just because I already have Sherry as my designated flyer, so... I didn't think there was a point in running Luna as a flyer too, but I see a lot of people run her as a flyer and she's very strong there too. So she can definitely carry her own as a ranged uh, fighter or even a melee fighter. So depending on how you take her, she is a really good fusion power buffer. Now the second unit is going to be Shelfino. Shelfino is one of my favorites. Um, yes, she's only on one alliance here, which is the Princess Alliance. Now her fusion power, 
Same thing in the beginning, except when using skills, damage is increased by 12%. So this is gonna give you more of a balance, more sustained, consistent damage. You're going to get that 12% every time you use a skill. So this is very important for units that are going to be using their skills a lot. So units like Lana, consistently using magic shots, right? So her ice, her dark reaper, her um, black hole, all those sherry with her lightning uh sonia she has some other hard hitting moves too and chris is consistently hitting with her moves too so they're gonna get that 12 percent, and that 12 percent can go a long way so if you want something a little bit more balanced something a little bit more sustained like you're gonna get that consistent damage every single time you hit that shot then yes this is the way to go with the princess alliance buff which is shelf and now who do i choose between the two Honestly, I've been using Luna a lot more, but I hate, and I hate it, guys, when my damage starts to get a little bit lower. You know, when it does that, what is it called here? I forget what it's called. When it does that Queen's Ascension, after I, I hit the enemy and damage the enemy, and then I see Queen's Ascension pop off, and I'm only doing like 50 damage, I'm just like, oh, oh man, really? It, it's really annoying. So, I would actually choose Shelfinol just because I like the sustained damage. I like the the just that consistent 12%. Yes, you're not going to get the 12% if you do a normal attack. But guess what? Most of the time with these princesses, you're not doing anything normal. So, yeah, I, I do like that 12%. Um, so, just build upon your team, guys. If you feel like you're not going to be doing a lot of skills then yes, go for Luna. But if you feel like you're going to consistently be shooting out skills left and right, then yes, I feel like Shelfinol is the much better choice. So let's go into a mission here so I can show you some team comps. All right, so we're in a mission here. We're in a bonding realm, level 45 mission. I have not completed this yet, so I do not have the secret realm blessing. I've been slacking on my bonding realms. Um, but besides that, so this is the current key team comp that I like to run. I do like to switch off my Sherry for Angelina at times. Um, just because, I don't know, for some reason I like my Angelina more. Um, obviously, that's my opinion. Um, but going on, you can definitely swap off some of these units and definitely run things like this. Like a go that pure double heals route. And uh, you can go just pure range route too. And what I like to do is if I'm going a range route, like if I run my uh, Luna there and just take off her fusion power and just go straight for the uh, deeps here and then have Shelfino run her fusion power, then what I'll do is have Luna move in since she has some range, have my Freya activate her Lance so that way Freya will tank the shots. And as the enemies are just getting closer, I can just bombard the enemies with just pure damage right um just from my ranged units luna uh L lana and uh Shelfino even because Shelfino does have some range damage too um and then you can go another like support way if you feel like you don't really need the tank then you can actually throw uh chris in that spot she's a great support slash healer uh if you feel like you're fighting a lot of reds uh sonya can go very nice in that spot too and then you just got some other replacements there too. Narm, Sophia, very good units too. I take nothing from them. If you need a little bit more mage, -ish, mage damage, something like that too. Like this right here is going to give you a lot of ranged hits and pretty nice team comp right there too. Uh, but my current favorite team comp, of course, I like to run her and that. And that's my favorite team comp. I call it my twin power team just because I got both twins. Shelfino and Angelina, and then I got Lana and Luna, not Lana and Luna, Lana and Liana running together. I just, there's too many L's there. It's confusing. So this is the current team comp I'm going to run, and we are just going to get into it right here. All right, so now, what do I think the princess team is good for? I would say both a split between pve and pvp i think they're both solid in both regards and i can't take nothing from either one of them because I, I like i said i think they're phenomenal in both regards all right so we're gonna have our what's our range on our okay 
So we're going to have her go there and activate that. Hopefully my Shelfinol is running the buff. Alright. We'll go for the Leon side first. Eh, we'll just keep her there. Try to we're gonna try to bundle them up together. Hopefully my Freya doesn't take too much shots here, because I want her to tank some shots, but I don't want her to tank too much shots and die. Hopefully we get some heavy shield procs. That would be clutch. Alright. Of course we're gonna have our girl move here. And run that back line there. And then Shelfinol moving last because Shelfinol is providing the fusion power buff. Beautiful. And let's see what we got. Like I said, this is my current favorite team comp. So. Barb and Barb. Beautiful. Of course he's going to heal up. Leon with the chivalry. Freya's going to jump in front of the shot. Can we get heavy shield to proc off? Ah, uh, no heavy shield. She's still going to tank it though, just because... Oh man, almost chopping down that Leon completely here. Man, you cannot count her out, guys, I'm telling you. Alright, let's go ahead and hit... Uh, we got to hit that dude, so we're going to go ahead and move her to the side here. Get Black Hole, there we go, hitting all of them. And let's go ahead and take that Danger Zone off. Beautiful. Okay, Leon is almost dead. Um, I know Varg is going to jump in front of that, which is perfect. So we'll hit Lightning here. Oh, Varg did not jump in front. What's wrong with that Varg? <laughs> what what is, what is going on with that Varg? It's kind of confusing. All right. Uh, we'll have Shelf hit. Yeah, we'll have Shelf hit the Heaven's Sanctuary here. Or Heaven's Sanction. I always say Sanctuary. Like, what is wrong with me? Now what we could do is we could hit again on our Lana and make sure Lana finishes off uh, Leon here. But for now, we are going to do have, yeah, we're going to have Freya finish off Leon. Sorrowful Choice almost finished off Leon there. He had 86 health left. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. And then we'll keep her at that 100% HP here. There we go. And she's going to tank the damage that's coming from Varg here. Because Varg is definitely going to attack. Yep. Oh, she's not going to tank. Because that's at that angle. That's A-OK, -okay, though. Shelfinol is a little bit tanky herself. Alright, so let's chop down the Varg here. We're going to do a normal attack. So we're not going to get the extra 12%. But I know we'll chop him down. And then we'll have our girl, Angelina, finish him off here. Actually, we can have Shelf do it. Yeah, we'll have Shelf do it. Build some distance. There we go. Beautiful there. All right, I know she's getting all the buffs. That's A-OK. -okay. Uh, what's our danger zone again? All right. I wish I could actually throw her in the danger zone just so that way I can see where we're at. Hit prayer yet? No, not yet. Not yet. We'll just heal up shelf here. Like I said, this is my current favorite team comp. I feel like they're not really fast moving as in aggressive. They are probably the least, most least aggressive team in the game just because they're not going to just get in too fast unless you're running Sherry. If you're running Sherry, then yeah, you're pretty much going to run in there. But definitely good in the regard of just sustainability and stuff. Alright, so they're trying to take my girls out here. That's A-OK -okay because we got prayer. There we go. They don't know, yo. They don't know who they're messing with here. All right. Yep. Let's do this. Okay. I know we want to take the queen down. Oh, we do have the control, water control there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll chop this guy. Get the extra 12% from shelf. Beautiful. Then we'll have shelf chop down this guy. Magic defense break. Beautiful. That kicked off. 5,000 damage. Nothing too crazy, but still good damage there. And then we'll do... Yeah, we'll do water control here. 
and hit the queen. Pretty sure this is not going to kill, but it should do a good amount of damage. Well, I'm getting the 12% too. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I am going to get the 12%, so that actually, actually should kill. All right, so level 45 bond realm. No, um, no fusion power. There are no secret realm blessing, which is good. Uh, I hope that showcased the Princess Alliance team. Like I said, I run this team very differently depending on what I'm fighting. Um, obviously, if I'm fighting units with uh, low mobility and I know I can crush, Sherry would be the way to go. If I'm fighting a lot of reds, I easily I just throw my gear on Sonya and uh, she just goes ham on red units. So, very, very, very nice there. Now, my uh, final impressions of the Princess Alliance team, I think they're solid. I think the team is definitely a top tier team and if you want to run them go for it 100% they are an awesome team and you will not regret building any of these units they all deserve to be built up and used because they are awesome anyways guys it's your boy captain beers remember to like comment share and subscribe peace out